the magician, magician, magician world, manifest. What you have been manifesting, Prince of Swords, is coming to you. It is directly associated with the warm fuzziness of your life. Whether you're trying to find someone to create this with, whether someone is coming back from your past, whether this is a soulmate coming to teach you a lesson or point you in a direction, or if someone has some kind of karma debt that you owe them or they owe you. It's coming at you. Okay? The chariot. It's coming at you big time the ace of wands it is an inspired passionate brand new chapter of your life ten of pentacles to the ten of cups that is going to allow you to create your heart's desire and it is a blessing and a reward from the universe for your dedication and loyalty to the spiritual path that you have chosen Hey Taurus, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on? How's everybody doing? How is the Bull Tribe handling all of this astrological planetary stuff we got going on? Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. It was like the it was like the closest thing to astral projection that I've ever experienced. Because you know, I mean, when you sleep, right? Where you go somewhere? Where do you go? <laughs> you go somewhere, right? And anyway, I was uh, I moved into a new place, and the the moon shines right through my bedroom window, and I love it. And I was having this crazy, crazy dream. But I can't really recall it, but it's a very joyful, peaceful kind of thing. And the moon was shining on me. And I just uh, had just a trippy experience. <laughs> so I feel led to read the cards. I really do. I just feel led to read the cards. So let's see what the tarot has to say for Taurus. Spirit, please guide us. in the direction we should go. Spirit, tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Spirit, tell me about Taurus. The collective of Taurus, what's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do we navigate the coming situations and circumstances of our lives for our best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Taurus the information that Taurus needs to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures. Tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and pull from the top. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the alchemist. Freaking awesome. Heck yeah. Ooh, and look at that. The Prince of Swords. Some kind of communication, perhaps. Oh my gosh, look, we should read this backwards. The Six of Cups, the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And then the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands. Okay. We will, um, I'm going to leave those out though. Holy schmoly. But the alchemist was the main character on the bottom of the deck. So we will address these cards accordingly as we move through the rest of the reading. The Prince of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. With the alchemist being the bottom card. All right. The Five of Cups. <coughs> loss, regret, despair, disappointment. To the star, follow the path. The path will lead you to where you need to be for your best and highest good. To the devil, toxic, an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. The ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, emotional attachment. The king of cups, there's a little bit of a reiteration of emotional attachment there, but definitely some feels going on. Mature though, thinking feels. The three of swords in reverse coming to terms with some kind of grief, sorrow, 
pain of some sort. Um, it's also uh, about um, being optimistic. The Empress in reverse, a creative block, codependency, out of control, out of your power, to or whomever, to the Nine of Cups in the center of the reading, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, like just, just coasting, being good right there in the emotions. The Emperor, hmm, Emperor to the Empress in reverse, interesting. Princess of Pentacles, some kind of manifestation, possibly of some kind of sense of well being or security, somehow, some way. The Nine of Swords in reverse, anxiety, despair, painful lesson. Three of Wands in reverse, lack of foresight, um, obstacles to long term goals, strength, being strong. The Ace of Swords in reverse, possibly not seeing something clearly. The Princess of Wands, inspiration, possibly communication. The Hierophant, some kind of commitment. Eight of Swords, crisis. Um, it's the Eight of Swords is you locked in your mind in some kind of fear. Three of Cups in reverse, some kind of third party situation or creative interference. Judgment in reverse, bad decision. To justice in the upright your justice your accountability king of pentacles in reverse to the ace of cups to the ten of wands in reverse seven of cups in reverse seven of wands in reverse four of pentacles in reverse to the king of wands the prince of cups the king of swords the two of cups the eight of wands and then see now we're going to start over again we're going to it's going to start from right here because this is the end of the story see so the ten of wands the seven of all these cards are applicable a little repetitive but applicable and then we get the king of wands in the prince of cups and the king of swords to the two of cups and the eight of wands and the reason it starts repeating is in the in the in the in the in the deficit princess of cups in reverse queen of swords in reverse the four of cups the five of swords in reverse the fool to the seven of swords in reverse breaking free the sun in reverse to the queen of cups returning to that king of cups over there to the six of pentacles and then over and over again look at that we'll just take these just for shits and giggles okay you guys but oh wait i saw the world we're stopping with the world oh my god and the wheel of fortune was underneath it i cannot make this up i cannot make it up uh, we have to take those as well. This is almost a whole deck of cards. We will address these when we get over here. If it just starts telling the same old story over and over again, we'll stop. Oh, good grief. All right. Now, if you're new to the channel, you're going to be wondering how the heck I'm going to unpack all of this, right? Well, I'm fixing to. And I'm fixing to confuse the heck out of you. So, come on up to the table. Sit down. Put your feet up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Get you a blanket. Put the earbuds in. Cast it up on the big screen if you want to because we are about to unpack a big old huge reading for Taurus right here. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I clarify this and I am going to sew together a story. Okay. If it takes too long or it gets too boring for you, I'm going to fast forward that particular section and we'll pick up right where we leave off. Okay. But there's something huge here and we're going to dive in. It's a good thing. I used to be a private investigator. <laughs> this should be called forensic tarot. I had a client tell me I gave a reading to her and she said it should be called, what'd she say? She said it should be called um, spanking tarot. I was like, what? She's like, I feel like I just got spanked. It was hilarious. Anyway, had to be there. All right, let's do it. All right, you guys, let's do this. Let's do this. So the five of cups, hmm, the five of cups, five of cups. Spirit, what is this about? What is this about? It's about the Six of Cups. Some kind of loss, regret, despair, disappointment in the emotions in regards to family, home, nostalgia, memories, children, comfort, warm fuzzies. So there is some kind of regret associated with some kind of warm fuzzy. Let's see what this is about. So Spirit, what is the Page of Wands? Some kind of news. Hmm, interesting. 
okay? Some kind of news that leads you to the star, right? It leads you to where spirit is trying to guide you. Hmm. Look at that. Five of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. And the Magician. Look at that. Huh. All right. Oh, my gosh. The world. They just won't stop, you guys. They just won't stop. They want to talk so bad. They want to talk so bad. Judgment, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. All right. I'm getting overwhelmed. So let me just back up a second here and make some sense out of all this. All right, understood, understood, understood. The star, definitely understood. But what's the devil, spirit? What is the devil? What is the attachment that's the restriction to the growth, toxicity, the shadow self? What is the devil? What is the devil? Oh, look at that. It is the nine of wands, giving up, page of cups, that there can ever be creation, nine of cups in reverse, that you will ever get emotional satisfaction from a particular kind of situation. Ten of cups to the king of cups. My goodness gracious, what is this? It is the eight of cups in reverse and death. Interesting. So... Oh, to the Queen of Cups. My, 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 my. Okay. So. All right, you guys. So back to the top. All right. So. Five of Cups. First card out sets tone for the whole reading, okay? This Five of Cups is about loss, regret, despair, disappointment, okay? And that is what you feel, okay, about the Six of Cups. You feel some kind of loss, regret, despair, disappointment about something related to your past, memories, nostalgia, children, um, the fuzzies, right? The four walls that make up your life, the four walls that give you fuzzies in your realm of being. Okay. So there is some kind of emotional disappointment associated with the six of cups and the page of wands comes on top of this and talks about, does it talk about exploration and discovery? Yes, it does. But in this particular situation, look, look, in this particular situation, the Page of Wands is talking about some kind of inspirational little bit piece of communication. And the Eight of Wands says this is coming into you. What's coming into you is some kind of communication where somewhere in your past you have had a disgruntled um, sentiment. Okay. Spirit says this is purposeful for your life. It's purposeful. Um, the star is a card about understanding that there's always a higher power that knows the end game that we don't. And they're constantly trying to poke us and prod us into the direction of our best and highest good. It's about hope in your faith that there is consistent renewal, that spirit will always take you back and point you in the direction that you're supposed to go. It's path and it's purpose. Okay. So this communication that is coming into you, this movement, this change that's happening in regards to something that was painful from your past or sad from your past, the star says everything is about to change right here. But you have to let go of some kind of mindset that you've been holding on to for a very, very long time in order for this to serve its purpose in your life. If you don't let go of this mindset, this can't serve its purpose in your life. Ace of Cups, emotional growth, emotional rebirth, a new beginning in love, overwhelming love, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you will continue to get what you've always gotten. To the Magician. The Magician talks about manifestation and the World card talks about closure. So what is this saying? Well, this is saying, 
that whomever I am speaking to, and it is not going to be everyone, all right? But whomever I am speaking to, buckle up because something's coming back from your past and it's going to be fixed and rectified, okay? This is also, I want to point out the Six of Cups is soulmate energy, okay? And we have a lot of very serious major arcana and a lot of really deep positive cards on this board. So this could be saying that you are going to have an opportunity to fix some kind of karma with a person who disappointed you or someone that you severely disappointed. Okay, an opportunity to fix some karma. Page of Wands, um, it's, it's coming at you. Eight of Wands, it's coming. Okay, the star says this is purposeful for your life, but you have to let go of a mentality that you are dead set. The Five of Swords in the Upright is about, def it's about defeat. It's about um, not wanting to be defeated, win at all costs. And there's a win at all costs mentality that you've been holding on to for a long time. I think that's going to block you from receiving what this purposeful thing is in your life. If you keep doing what you've always done, Five of Swords in reverse. If you keep holding on to this mentality, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. Manifestation to the world. Total change. What I think is manifesting is this situation over here, this Six of Cups situation. This karmic debt that somebody owes to another, the coming back together after a very, very long time lifetimes apart from one another but there is um if you if you just want to go on the surface right there's definitely someone coming back from your past okay your home life um let's talk about that aspect of it okay it could be your home life right maybe you are in a state of despair about your home life and the page of wands says there's some news that's going to change that and the eight of wands says that there's some action see how it could all be one big ball or one little bb each right okay star says it's pur purposeful you gotta let go the ace of cups possibly a brand new beginning in love for some of you possibly this is talking about this karmic lesson right here is going to um um bring you some kind of emotional growth and emotional maturity but if you keep doing what you always done you're always going to get what you always gotten the magician says this is manifesting for you and the world card says this is a closure of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Perhaps this is the manifestation of your heart's desire, which is family, home, nostalgia, memories, and warm fuzzies. Whatever the heck is going on here, Taurus, there's a lot of different people that are manifesting a lot of good stuff into their life right now. A lot of different Tauruses manifesting a lot of good stuff into your life. I cannot stress that enough. There is something huge, something big, could be love, definitely has some feelings attached to it. It could be romantic love, it could be agape love, it could be spiritual love, but there is something that is going to come into your life that is going to change everything. The devil. What's the problem though? What's the problem though, Taurus? What's the problem? The problem is the devil. El Diablo. Mm -mm -mm. This is your dark side. This is your shadow side. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And what is that? Well, it is holding on to a mindset that you will continue to get what you've gotten up till now if you, if you continue to hold on to it. That's the dark side. That's the shadow side of you. That's what's going to hold you back. Nine of wands in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse is being overwhelmed, giving up. What are you giving up on? The page of cups. The idea that there could ever, ever be an emotional connection that would make you come out um, of your shell. 
This is also saying that you have given up on some kind of connection or, or hope of communicating with someone from your past. Nine of Cups in reverse. Emotional discontentment. I can't be emotionally happy. There's not a human being on this planet that I would be willing to compromise my sense of self-worth and my peace and my, my everything for. It's just not going to happen. There's nobody out there that could put up with me. There's nobody out there that I could put up with. Everybody sucks. They all suck. That's the devil right there. That's the devil. Okay, you've given up that there could possibly some be some kind of communication or connection with anyone and you are just washed out in the emotions. However, what these cards tell me is the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. And this goes back to the magician. What these cards tell me is that deep down inside, deep, deep down inside, you are manifesting the Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. This is coming towards you. This is what this change is over here. This is coming towards you. Eight of Cups in reverse. And once and for all, you are going to be able to leave your emotional discontentment in the past. Death. There is an ending coming to your emotional discontentment. There is an ending coming to this, but you have to participate. You have to participate. You have to recognize your demon, do some critical self-analysis so the world card can close out the chapter of your life and allow you to get what it is you've been manifesting deep down inside. And that is, as far as I can tell so far, an amazing, amazing love relationship to the queen of cups queen of cups there is a very serious love relationship coming into your life three of swords in reverse three of swords in reverse talks about forgiveness understanding acceptance and it's followed by the empress in reverse she is about a creative block and what this is saying, being Major Arcana, and the devil also, as obviously being Major Arcana, um, what this is saying is that there is a blockage between you and co-creating with the universe. The universe can't co-create with you when you are holding on to this mentality. They just can't. They just can't co-create with you. I asked, what is the root of this Empress in Reverse? Why can't the Empress in Reverse co-create? Why can't Taurus co-create with the universe? And the answer was the Hermit. Because Taurus is doing, Taurus is, is locked on the inside. Hence all of this right here, right? Locked on the inside. That is the attachment. That's the restriction to your growth. That's the toxicity of you in your own life is just totally being, just totally giving up on the idea that there could be someone or something um, that is going to bring you this kind of joy and happiness in your life. But you've been secretly manifesting it on the down low. You want it, but you don't want it. The Hermit in, to the Three of Wands in reverse. And this is a lack of foresight, right? You're, you're not, you, you, you're, you, well, now you have the foresight because I'm doing this tarot card reading for you, right? But you're not realizing that your, your sourness, right? Your, that's what we call a horse when, when you have a good horse, right? But they don't like to ride. They don't like to ride because of whatever reason, but they just don't like it. And every time you get on them, they do this crow hop thing and this little bucky thing, and they try to boss you around and stuff. It's called the sour horse. You're a sour bull. <laughs> this reading is for a sour bull that's like, no, fuck this, fuck that. Don't want nothing to do with none of it because nobody's ever going to be able to either tolerate me and my idiosyncrasies or nor will I ever be able to tolerate somebody in their idiosyncrasies. Nine of Cups in the center of your reading says different though. 
Nine of Cups in the center of your reading says spirit wants to bring you the fulfillment of your wishes, your desires, everything that you can think of that could be emotionally fulfilling. You have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Death coming at you, the Queen of Cups, the world, the magician, the star, the Six of Cups. I mean, this is like crazy. In the center of your reading, Spirit says what's coming at you is going to fulfill you like you have never been fulfilled before. The Emperor to your Empress. He's trying to be divinely orchestrated into your life, but you're blocking co-creation to the Princess of Pentacles. Brand new beginning, brand new offer. Maybe it's a job offer. Maybe it's an offer to move in together. Maybe it's an offer of it, the, the, the princess of pentacles is about new little, right? Whether it be a little message, a new little, it's new little seedlings, pentacles being prosperity, pentacles being your sense of security and your sense of well-being. Okay. So whatever this is, is a new way of well-being for you. Knight of Swords, there is, you are going to talk to someone. Someone is coming in to communicate with you, to the lovers, and it's a significant relationship in your life. It is. It's a significant relationship in your life. It's either someone coming back from the past, or it is someone that you can create a Six of Cups, warm, funny, fuzzy, funny too, that's always good, warm, fuzzy environment to, to nest. For real. And let's not forget those of you that are paying some karma or getting some karma paid from you as well, right? This is all going to change for everybody, no matter how it fits into your life. Something awesome is coming towards you, but you're blocking it with the, with the attitude. Lose the attitude, Taurus. <laughs> Lose the attitude. Nine of swords in reverse. Look, there's the attitude, right? There's the attitude. Anxiety, despair, painful lesson after painful lesson after painful lesson two of swords this is the mental crossroads this is what you have to let go of up here four of swords in reverse overthinking being mentally restless lack of progress in your mentality lack of progress in your mentality lost myself here yep okay to the three of wands in reverse this is obstacles this is going to block you from getting where it is the spirit wants you to go that's in your best and highest good that's part of your path to the eight of pentacles you got something you got to work on you got something you got to work out three of swords in reverse have some forgiveness some compassion somehow some way or come to terms with your own issues the empress so you can make it into the upright position and be prepared for this emperor that's coming because this emperor is not going to be seen by a sour empress to the ace of swords see clear see crystal crystal clear have some triumphant mental success and see that there is something amazing coming at you but you are going to totally and completely block it if you don't change your mentality the strength card right this is overcoming what your weaknesses what's your weakness the devil up here that's your weakness what's the weakness just to reiterate giving up weary page of cups that there can ever be an emotional connection or some kind of communication and the nine of cups in reverse it's just not even worth it overcome that ace of swords in reverse because it, it it keeps you from fully and completely manifesting what the magician says you're manifesting you want this in your subconscious but your mind is the is the is the fertile soil for manifestation what you think about comes about whether you like it or not what you think about comes about. So be very careful what you're thinking because even though you're manifesting and doing all the right things, if shit is stirring around in your subconscious that is blocking a straight, pure line of manifestation, then you have to address it. That's what strength is. And that's what this reading is for you. It's addressing that blockage so spirit can work in your life and bring you 
a beautiful situation and a beautiful relationship. So get your mind straight. The chariot. So spirit can take you where you want to go to the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is coming to terms with your issues. Come to terms with it. Princess of Wands, because there's information, there's messages that are coming towards you to the Hierophant that is going to ask you to commit to something somehow, some way. Um, I also want to point out that is, if this is a karmic thing, then this Hierophant is saying that it's this forgiveness communication thing from the past right here leads you to more of a transformation, a, a leveling up or a stepping up of your spiritual understanding. Okay. And it opens the path for you for exploration and discovery and excitement with the princess of wands, eight of swords, but you might be scared. Um, there might be, um, something that is standing in the way. Okay. So if that's, if that parts for you, this karmic debt thing, then there you go. If this is a love story for you, there is some kind of communication that's coming into you and it has to do with a belief system, um, commitments of some sort to the eight of swords. This eight of swords is being trapped in your head in fear. It's a, it's, it's, it's paral paralyzed by fear. Eight of pentacles in reverse because maybe you had some super high expectations of how this was going to go down when it went down. Maybe you've had some super high expectations about the kind of person that could possibly enter into your life. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is a card about perfectionism. It's also about lacking ambition or focus, but I don't really see the lacking ambition or focus aspect of it. To the Ace of Swords, Spirit says, see this. Queen of Cups in reverse. This is the source of your emotional insecurity and your inability to let yourself um, grow emotionally and you have to be prepared to engage in this and the star comes on top of it and says again reiterates this is the path this is the way this is what we are trying to tell you the path the way what we are trying to tell you and now um, there is some more repeating right but I want to address those cards that were on the bottom of the deck first okay the magician, magician, magician world manifest what you have been manifesting. Prince of swords is coming to you. It is directly associated with the warm fuzziness of your life. Whether you're trying to find someone to create this with, whether someone is coming back from your past, whether this is a soulmate coming to teach you a lesson or point you in a direction, or if someone has some kind of karma debt that you owe them or they owe you, it's coming at you. Okay. The chariot, it's coming at you big time. The ace of wands, it is an inspired, passionate, brand new chapter of your life. 10 of pentacles to the 10 of cups that is going to allow you to create your heart's desire. And it is a blessing and a reward from the universe for your dedication and loyalty to the spiritual path that you have chosen. And that being said, this reading is not for everybody. Repeating five of cups in reverse. Moving on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment, the three of cups in reverse, to judgment in reverse, self-doubt, stifled creativity. I'm going to ask about that three of cups right there. Stifled creativity, self-doubt, bad decision, painful lessons, three of swords in reverse. Come to terms with it, to justice, so you can be accountable for your path, so you can be accountable for your journey, so you can get what it is that spirit wants to bless you with somehow some way to the king of pentacles in reverse to the hangman in reverse you've been stuck for way too long in a state of dissatisfaction a lack of a sense of well-being 
This King of Pentacles in reverse also says with the hangman that you have been stuck in a state of being way too long dwelling on someone who used to hold title in your life but doesn't anymore. Someone that attempted to hold the place of King of Pentacles in your life at one point or you wanted them to. And you've just been hanging on to this for way too long. And Spirit says your justice is Three of Swords coming to terms with it, being accountable to the Ace of Cups. There's new love coming into your life. The Page of Wands, messages, exploration, discovery, excitement, Ten of Wands in reverse. But you carry this huge burden, Seven of Cups in reverse, that are diversionary tactics to your path. The Seven of Wands in reverse overwhelmed self-protection the four of pentacles in reverse self-protection to the king of wands and the prince of cups but this person is coming towards you anyway so get ready they're coming towards you anyway and you know what this person is not here is the king of pentacles so that is an, an interesting thing that i would like to point out real quick this person, I think, cannot be your king of pentacles. Okay? They just can't. They just can't. They couldn't. They couldn't be your king of pentacles. But now, they are presenting as the emperor. Yep, if this is the if this is someone coming back from the past for you, this person wasn't capable in the past, but now they are capable. And that's the justice of the situation. If this is hmm, let me think about this. Okay. If this is the person that you are hung up on, right? If this is the person that you are literally with the hangman hung up on. There is new love that's coming into your life, and you have to let this go, okay? King of Wands to the Prince of Cups. Someone's coming at you, King of Swords, with some real talk, some truth talk. They're offering you, this could possibly be a career opportunity, okay? I mean, it could be a business opportunity, just saying. Okay, it's a general reading. If you want me to know you and your story, have your own cards read because all these cards would be specifically about you and your situation. But I don't know what's going on here, so I got to be kind of vague and dance around a little bit, right? But someone is coming at you hardcore. They're bringing some kind of passion. They are bringing cups full of feelings. They are bringing some serious truth. And the Ace of Pentacles, they want to start something new with you. What do they want to start? The Two of Cups, a business, a relationship, a reuniting, or making something good to the Eight of Wands. And they want to do it now. They want to do it now. They want to do it fast. They might even be coming to see you and showing up at your house. And if you're if if this isn't someone from the past when you meet this person it's going to be like all on like all on all on all on but you've got to take care of this bullshit that you're harboring from something that was not meant to be yours anyway why would you hold on to something that's not meant to be yours why why strength overcome it the lovers because there is a significant relationship headed into your life to the death card an ending a change a transformation of everything princess of cups in reverse creative block queen of swords in reverse salty four of cups time to reevaluate yourself check yourself before you wreck yourself Five of Swords in reverse and let go of what you've been holding on to, the fool, so spirit can lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Seven of Swords in reverse, break free of that futile mentality. The sun in reverse, stop being downtrodden. Queen of Pentacles, find yourself again. Queen of Pentacles in the uh, cups, Pentacles, I'm so sorry. The Queen of Cups here, two, maybe even three times. 
to the King of Cups, the Six of Cups. We got some, somebody's got some soulmate stuff going on here. And somebody's about to get just super blessed. Six of Pentacles, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. Right? The Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, bow in my back, Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. How's that working for you? Two of Wands, you want the future that, you're, that you secretly try to manifest for yourself? Nine of Wands in reverse, stop being so self-defensive. The Hangman in reverse, stop delaying and stalling the world, the, the brand new cycle that Spirit's trying to create in your life. To the Wheel of Fortune, a massive, massive turning point to be who? Guess who? Mrs. Queen of Wands. Where'd he go? Mrs. Queen of Wands. He's in here somewhere. Mrs. Queen of Wands. High Priestess in reverse. To death in reverse. Right? Don't be disconnected from what Spirit's trying to lead you towards. Don't be disconnected from where Spirit is trying to divinely guide your life. And if you have angst or grief with someone in your past, it is part of your path and part of your journey to make peace with them, to make peace with that, so you can move on and manifest the kind of future that you want to manifest for yourself. If you owe someone some kind of karma, you are being released from that. And because you have paid that karma, all of this good stuff is coming into your life. Wow. If this is new love for you, it's right around the corner. But you've got to co-create with the universe. If, if you want a spiritual relationship with someone, I mean, if you want an ego relationship, then go ahead and choose whoever you want to. But if you want something meaningful that is part of your path and part of your journey, then this is it. This is it for sure. Wow. I want to get a timeline on this. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can get a timeline. Spirit, there's this one last little thread hanging here for Taurus to step into an absolutely freaking amazing future. Provided a Taurus understands and sees this, provided they accept and receive this message if it's meant for them, how long, look at that, 96, forgiveness, look at that. So, 96, what's that? 15, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 is the number of communication, problem solving, balance, harmony. Balance and harmony, 6. 6 days, 6 weeks, 6 months. As soon as you come to terms with this, as soon as you come to terms with this, six six days six months six weeks can you can you confirm or deny six for me please can you confirm or deny six for me please so 46 domestic harmony four plus six is a ten ten is completion that is an affirmative that's a positive affirmation okay for me being domestic harmony also the name of the card okay so it has affirmed that i'm on point with six so six somehow six days six weeks six months i don't do years right six days six weeks six months that is uh that is um what i'm going with tell me let's just do something weird okay let's do this Woo! five interesting six did you see that look at that it's a six uh, how funny but don't count that i was just being silly all right taurus there you go there is your reading this is beautiful taurus it's beautiful this is amazing absolutely amazing i hope it helps someone if you want your own cards read you can hit me up at the gypsypsychic.com if it's not me get someone else but if you have any kind of questions about this in your life 
um, get your cards read. Don't don't believe what anybody says in a general tarot card reading because it's all just kind of bullshit because we don't know who the heck we're reading for. The tarot wasn't meant to be read to an auditorium full of people. It's a one-on-one -on -one divination tool. So use it to get your own messages from, from spirit. Namaste.